Alright. Round one. Customary hello and good luck. Do I want a mulligan? Terrible hand. <coughs> um but I'm actually not gonna mulligan. I am I on the play? Yeah, I'm on the play. No, I'm on the draw. Two drop. Dark. This is probably not the best hand to keep. This is fast. Run over me. Uh, then again, three lands. If I draw a series of two with at least one of them being a red, wrecking over and be able to clean house, Boros Charm, take out something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, would you like to mulligan? No. I'm going to keep this because two drop in. Few and far between for me, so. Hmm. Demir, hopefully, is, is what I'm hoping for. Sky Knight Legionnaire? Let's, I'll take it. <clears throat> <coughs> Two turns to draw a red. Gutter Skulk. Hmm. Not my favorite right now, but. That's fine. I'll trade a Shield of Passage for a Gutter Skulk. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Lock with a Daring Skyjack, get your two points in. Play your Corpse Block it, Gateway Shade. Interesting. Okay. Red. Yep. Sky Knight Legionnaire, and swing. I'm gonna wait next turn until I can have, you know, Shielded Passage up. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not, I don't want to waste a Boros Charm here, but sure can pump the shade a couple times, but be able to get him with a fierce with a shield of passive balustrade spy. That's not what I was looking for. Syndic of Tides, great. No two drop. Yeah, well, you know these things happen. Land by Ashino, Shanktia. I could take that. The first strike's going to be able to do some work. Uh, it's unfortunate that it's got three toughness, but it is the things that happen. I can leave back. I can play Shank Tail, or I can leave Fierce Resistance and Shielded Passage up. Uh, I think Shank Tail is the play. I'm not worried too much about the life total right now. <clears throat> sure, it gets me for two in the air, but <coughs> battalion's enabled next turn, and I will have these open. Now, granted, I just start setting up the play where you know this turns into a six-six double strike, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, down to four. <clears throat> Boros charm for the win. Granted, still need another red for that, but <coughs> viable options. I've got options. At 15, I'm not, my life total isn't too, not too, too worried about it. So, plays to be had, plays to be had. Yep, balustrade's by. Go for it. Now, we know that. Shade will be able to be pumped three times to kill the Bayashino. If attacks want to go through, do doesn't even want to attack with the Balustrade Spy. <coughs> Alright. Ooh. What do we got going here? Yeah, I'm not going to block. I know you can pump it three times if you want to waste your turn pumping it. Cloud Interrupter. Hmm. Okay, I see what you got there. You got game. Ooh, unfortunate. All right, what do we got? Am I just dead next turn? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Another black. It's twelve. Just a creature evolve it makes twelve. Oh, not necessarily because I have to play the black. Hmm. Because can double block this shield and passage it and get enough damage in 
be able to Wrecking Ogre next turn. Oh, that relies on drawing land, but honestly, that's sitting back. I'm not going to be able to do much more. <sighs> Am I? I sit back. If I attack here, damage will happen, and I need to draw a mountain next turn to And my opponent needs to not attack well or attack improperly so that I can get in with a flyer and be able to double strike it. We wouldn't have Boros Charm open, but best case scenario, I'd be able to get in with this worst case scenario. So I get in three points here, it goes to 15. Uh, <clears throat> a minimum of three points. 15. Actually, that won't happen. I'll trade off one of the guys. I'm, I'm going to get in no points of damage. <clears throat> Problem. Hmm. Then I Wrecking Ogre. Leave back these things. It just relies on me drawing a mountain. What's the odds of drawing a mountain? I had nine. So I've got eight more. Eight out of twenty-six is not quite. Eight times three is twenty-four. So just under a just under a thirty-three percent chance. <coughs> if I play D, this is going to start evolving, and then my attack is just going to get worse. Is there a way that I'd be able to be able to come back? I mean, I do have Shield Passage. Furious resistance to be able to deal with these kind of attackers. Cloudfront Raptor is just going to start getting bigger. Vaishino can block whatever for the most part, but it's just going to start getting unsustainable quickly. Dear. Hmm. This next turn, if I attack with nothing, Cloudfront Raptor attacks. This attacks. Can try to shield the passage for this. Furious resistance for and say balustrades by or even a cloud from raptor. By Shino, Racketeer. <coughs> to there. <coughs> Ooh, this is tough. But I still think I actually think the play is go on D. Yeah, it was taking too long. Yeah, I realize that. That's fine. But thinking out my options, rather play slow and thoughtfully, especially with the deck that's either going to win fast or lose fast, than recklessly. Yep, begin combat. Okay. Tricks, tricks of the trade we got here. I mean, I just say we go for it. <clears throat> What's worse? What am I more afraid of? A balustrade spy? Or this? <coughs> I'd rather kill this furious resistance. I'd rather block here and shielded passage. Because I'd rather leave furious resistance up for something better. Later. Yep. Okay. Sure, two gets in no matter what. This is a red, I might cry a little. Alright. This got interesting. This got interesting. <clears throat> Starts forcing him to attack here. Can't block. Counterspell for my madcap skills. Um, but I think that's the play. He's got removal, he's got removal. Or a counter. Yep. Oof. Okay, well, that's game. <coughs> Totally lost is a thing. I wasn't thinking about it right, right there in that particular instance, but totally lost. Ah, 
Okay, well, that's game. Now I'm gonna play it out. Yep. Go for it. I'm gonna play it out, see what else my friend here plays. Alright, Gips of War is over. Ouch. You know, I, I would have taken that. It would have been bad. But, uh, now we're going to have to go back and maybe even think about whether it was the right move to anything we would have madcap skilled up would, would have conceded here. <clears throat> Man. Interesting. So we would have hit madcap skills and then it would have been a mountain. Hmm. Madcap skills definitely was the play. Sure, there was probably something, but the upside was too high if there wasn't. Plus, something would have just gotten totally lost. You know, something that I would have blood rushed totally lost. <laughs> blood rushing totally lost. That's funny. Um, what do we got? Didn't see any artifacts. Didn't see a reason for this. Just got to be faster. Let's be on the play. Let's win. Let's uh. Round two? Well, no, it's not round two, it's game two of round one. Yes, play first. Not keeping. So what's up to me? Also I can't keep that. I know six five lands has everything that I need in a pit fight, but uh, can I can I get away with this hand? Maybe some of you watching are thinking, "What? What are you doing, dude? What are you? What are you doing? Why are you even? Why are you even considering this?" Because five lands. It's, if I, I mean, if I draw land, 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 obviously bad. <clears throat> if I don't, this hand, anything's live that I draw, well, except for my enchantments. I mean, removal's still good. Has the double red. I have white to play cards. Can I come back from a multi-five? It would have to be a perfect multi-five. Need at least two lands, two drop, three drop. I would need to be able to curve out. And the odds of that happening are not that good. Uh, pit fight dead card right now, but I'm not going to talk myself out of it. I know, incredibly risky, but we already know based on the way the draft went. I'm gonna have to play risky in order for if this cloud and wrapper, I'm gonna even know it's gonna cry. Boros Charm? Nope. It's okay. It's okay. You can Guild Mage. This person sitting to my left. I don't think so. Well, you know, sometimes the the risk of keeping a five lander. It's okay. It's okay. My opponent's deck isn't necessarily the fastest, so I'm not. You know, things are gonna have to happen. Um, you know, keeping a five lander, drawing two spells and two lands. It's okay. We can come back. Turn five, wrecking ogre. We'll uh, we'll do that first. Yep. Mill some lands. It's not gonna mill lands. It's the only thing. It's Ah, <sighs> well, would have been a turn five wrecking ogre. Let's hit a turn five creature. I'll take it. I'll even Herbis Protector would be sweet. Hellraiser Goblin. This is when this card's really bad. Um, and let's go. Granted, I could have Boros Charmed it to kill whatever. Looks fairly grim from here. Even though the way this ended up working out, I still think this was the proper keep. With the way the deck is, my my hand would have been had to have been better than this one was. Yep. Skyjack.
One, two, three. Oh dear. Well. Sky deck. Got pit fight open and Boros charm. Yep. Whatever I do, gotta do to stay alive. That's the game we're playing. So I'm taking two, four, five, six. I have to block here. Yep. Yep. Hmm. If it double strike, uh, I was gonna say pit fight wouldn't do much. To give a double strike because, um. Double strike. Yeah, I'm throwing away a Boros Charm to kill it. Shade. That's fine. Yep. Two for one myself, but. Got rid of the creature. Cinder Elemental. I. It's. There's not much I can do here. So. We're going to at least attack. Get in two points of damage. And, um. Hey! Valiant effort, right? For giggles, we're going to pit fight that. Okay, sure. Oh, it's gonna kill me with that ability. I don't like it. Yep. Yeah. GG. Hmm. Yeah. Well, things happen. Thought we drafted well. <clears throat> there wasn't <coughs> the kind of picks I, I you know considered differently uh, you know, warm mind infantry but there weren't any really strong cards um, in any of the packs that I, I would have necessarily wanted to pick over something else uh, to the point where I feel like we could have been in some, like, some radically different colors sure I could have picked the uh, Disciple over a mugging but at that point in the draft, I feel like unlocking is just better. Uh, plus, we don't know we're going to be getting those disciples around, uh, and both decks are going to want mugging. So, you know, in that kind of way, the mugging pack what is it? Pick three. You pick the mugging first. Uh, there wasn't really much else. Pack two. No uh, picks were solid. We just got nothing there. I I couldn't imagine there not being other Boros drafters, but how, you know, Madcap skills went around. Well, things happen. I, uh, <coughs> you know, certain things to evaluate, relatively minor, picking the uh, Hellraiser Goblin over the Warmind Infantry. If that was necessarily the right pick, and <coughs> if maybe somewhere down the road, our, our color choices weren't the strongest. And maybe maybe the rel the most minor in terms of how it ultimately ended up working out in the draft, because based on the way the deck was, I couldn't see us doing too, too well. 
But uh, second game, keeping that six lander. Five lander, rather. Five lander pit fight. Well, this is Mike from Mana Bluff. You, uh, we'll call this the Boros Got Train Wrecked. Uh, it's a good one. I enjoyed it. Oddly enough, this was. I, re I, I like the way that the draft went in the sense where I'm trying to. I can't find places where the picks just were wrong. So, hey, things just happen, right? I don't know how many, seven times I've said that already, but, well, we're going to be drafting again. And by we, I mean I and the rest of Mana Bluff. You're going to be seeing some more. And, hopefully, it goes a little bit smoother next time. All right, Mike with Mana Bluff, I'm out.